Hey everyone, welcome to 2 minutes to stay with Bala. Today we're going to look into creating a simple MCP server uh, with C Sharp SDK. Let's get started. First thing is uh, we create a simple MCP server folder and then you create a .NET new console, give a name MCP server. Then once you hit enter, uh, it creates a new application. In this case, I already have it. So once you navigate into the folder and uh, we need to install the MCP uh, SDK package. So let's do that. And next I need to install a uh, .NET hosting package. Once I have that, um, let's do a code. Um, so it created a simple application. I do have this piece of code from the SDK project. Uh, you can see this uh, clearly has the references here. It creates a new MCP server, uh, standard air transport uh, with all the tools from this current assembly. And then we have a simple uh, echo uh, method that's giving the data back. Let's quickly execute this and in this case I'm using a MCP inspector so that way we can quickly test this without any client. So once I hit that it's going to execute this and then give me a, a two URLs like the proxy server is running on this port and then you can see the local host is running on a 6274 with this particular token. So once I click on that uh, it's going to open a new window and uh, this window you can see there is a connect button here it's already pre-filled with your dotnet run command and once i hit connect and you can on the back you can see that it's connecting uh, once you navigate and it's connected then you click on the list tools once you hit that and it's going to give all the tools that are available in that particular mcp server so in this case we just have only one so once you click on that uh, and i can give a uh, parameter which is a message and then hit a run tool you can see there is a post message going on and then it's giving back the hello bala this is a simple uh, mcp server quick tutorial i do have this github repo if in case you want to try it out yourself thank you for watching i'll see you again next week with another topic